Why should we support Expo 2025? Well, it's an international branding opportunity for our country. We know that we can produce more housing, more transit, more waterfront revitalization, but oftentimes we haven't ha had three levels of government support. And we all know sometimes bringing government together to build projects is not easy. So one of the reasons why we really want to support Expo and why we think that more citizens should be supporting Expo is that it brings us together to develop the Portlands, which is actually a very significant parcel of land, as you've just seen on the screen. Uh, it's 460 acres of land specifically designed to host the fair. We bring international delegates abroad. The nations that come to participate to build the pavilions, they pay for it themselves. So it's no cost to the taxpayers, and we have a chance to foster direct foreign investment, promote global uh, cultural tourism, to rebrand our country, to develop over 50,000 person-year jobs of employment. Um, the investment going out uh, is, uh, is far exceeded by the returns coming in, which includes $4.37 billion nationally of GDP. So um, almost so that's significant. $2 billion to actually pull this off, and you're saying a return of $4 billion in terms of tourism dollars? Uh, no, no, not $4 billion. It's uh, $4.37 billion of, of global GDP, sorry, national GDP, but it also brings in direct in, uh, tax revenues of $1.26 billion. So it practically pays for itself, not to mention that it's all shared by three orders of government. We have the private sector support behind us. Uh, rarely do we have ever seen the CEO of the Stock Exchange walk through the halls of City, uh, of city Council and say that he and his stock exchange with the 1,600 uh, private, publicly listed companies are supporting the expo. And why is because they actually need a platform, a global platform, to promote Canadian business. This is why I'm for it. This, this is six months. Six months. And it's infrastructure being built a lot by the private sector and by other nations as well. It is not a, we don't have to build a stadium or anything like that. I was against the Pan Am Games. I'm, I'm against our bid for the Olympic Games because that's two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then it's over and done with. Yes, we're left with a bit of infrastructure. But this is six months of showing off Toronto around the world. So how much? The problem is there's a bid process first. It which right. costs 10 to 15 million. So that's what we have to talk about first is should we be even bidding? and a good chance we might lose. Well, you know, if we don't bid, what we say is that there are other cities that are better at doing this, that there are other cities that should be more global and more public facing. And those bidders um, that we're going to be competing against are most likely Paris, uh, Manchester and Osaka and I don't believe that Toronto can't compete I actually believe that we have the ingenuity the resourcefulness to bring the, the world to Toronto to showcase okay. the very best of Canada 